Hi, Connie here. About halfway through the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus talks about prayer and teaches his disciples a prayer we know as the Lord's Prayer. It is the prayer that has become well known through the ages and is often recited and memorized. According to an article in the Knoxville News Sentinel, the Titanic Museum attraction exhibits the only known Bible that survived the sinking of the Titanic. It is told that its owner, Reverend Robert Bateman, forfeited his seat in his lifeboat to his sister-in-law, handed her his Bible, and led around 50 men on the ship's deck to pray the Lord's Prayer. Jesus prayed often, in many ways, and for different reasons. So why did he teach his disciples this prayer at this time? In this context, the Lord's Prayer seems to encapsulate his revolutionary teachings and lead his disciples into a personal and continual relationship with God the Father. The succinct five-sentence prayer covers how to properly acknowledge God the Father, seek His will, ask for daily provision, be led away from temptation, and be delivered from the evil one. It charges us to forgive and show mercy to others if we want the Father to be merciful and forgive our sins. Jesus addresses the prayer to God the Father because Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are one, to whom do we address our prayers? Based on 17 New Testament references, Strong's Concordance clarifies it this way. Prayer is properly addressed to God the Father and the Son. But in no instance in the New Testament is a prayer addressed to the Holy Spirit distinctively. For whereas the Father in heaven and the Son is at his right hand, the Holy Spirit is in and with the believers, the Holy Spirit being the sole interpreter of the needs of the human heart, makes his intercession therein, and inasmuch as prayer is impossible to man apart from his help, believers are exhorted to pray at all seasons in the Spirit." End quote. Communion with the Father was an integral part of Jesus' life. He teaches us to pray because we have a God who works through prayer and desires to hear from us. Let's say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Hey, thank you for engaging with this episode of Anchored. Are you part of Bethel Church and interested in being a host for this podcast? We know that God speaks to each one of us. We want to faithfully grow the people who contribute and share their insights through this podcast. If you are interested in learning more about this opportunity, please email video at Bethel.ch.